let's see, Ellie. Um, I was born November 9, 1980, um, to a family of uh, 11 kids. I was the youngest. And um, let's see, significant events through that time. I'm not sure that I'm, I'm going to be able to come up with a whole lot of uh, events from that time period, but I'm not sure if I was five or six that I fell off of a porch when, when this was like a, like a porch that was I'm not sure how you would, how many feet above the ground this would be, but uh, be like a little bit over a, a one-story drop. <coughs> I was sitting on a banister on top of um, the the porch, and I dropped down. This like was in foot or two from uh, the cement block that was down at the bottom of, of uh, the, the bottom floor and the reason I was on that sitting on the banister was a railing or whatever you call it um, that's because uh, we had these hummingbird feeders out there on, on our front uh, porch and um, I would uh, like go out there and hold my finger up and and uh, hummingbirds would come in uh, and uh, sit on my finger and as or as they were came to drink and stuff um, when I was um, Younger though, when I was like two years old, uh, my brother passed away from a car buggy crash. Um, of course, I don't remember a whole lot of that, but that is a significant event, obviously. Um, so, I'm not sure we. Me and my brother used to play around and stuff around the, around the, the farm and and uh, used to go to, well not until later we we started going to to um, West Salem together but that'll come in other videos um, but uh, my brother taught me a lot of things over the years, both good and bad. Uh, um, and uh, he was a big influence on me. This was uh, my brother Mel, uh, who was four years older than me. And uh, when uh, we were six, my uh, brother took me to um, West Salem to buy a few slings and uh, while we were there we were at the hardware store and um, he kept going back to uh, this little radio well, he had the twenty dollars to pay for the radio, but the he was nervous about buying it. Now I didn't have a problem with it, but but I knew it was against the rules. But I didn't have a problem with him if he wanted to buy a radio because we had done other things that were were um, similar, like. Uh, Smoking, 
cigars and well like for example the cigarettes uh, were banned by the church but cigars are not so my cousin would uh, buy the between the acts cigarettes which are um, the little little si the size of the cigarettes but they are brown like cigars so <laughs> kind of a in between the the, the two kind of to break the rules basically was what it was all about but I don't now I don't get the point uh, what uh, why we would have to do break the rules anyway but I digress uh, not much point in, in a lot of things that I must do but anyway um, so he he was pacing around the store for about an hour or so it seemed anyway it may have been less but he kept going back and forth and back and forth um, finally I just told him well get it already so he goes and buys the radio and I remember going up to the cash register and my brother putting his radio up there and the lady was like is this all uh, like asking her, him if this is all that there, there was uh, and uh, and uh, he was like yes <laughs> and anyway so um, so he got that he goes uh, so we go over and across the street shopping and we uh, picked up a few things and one of those things we got was supposed to be uh, Mountain Dew but I looked at the um, Diet Mountain Dew and I'm like um, why is he buying that but I'm like well uh, it's up to him if he wants to buy Mountain Diet and uh, you know, that's up to him but so anyway he buys the Diet Mountain Dew and halfway home, I uh, asked him about it, and he goes, I got diet? <laughs> no, it's this. Uh, he had just made a mistake in buying the, the wrong kind of Mountain Dew, but it was because of his nervousness. Um, but then we, we um, used to uh, talk on that or uh, listen to that radio behind the barn, behind the the pig barn, and wherever we could hide to to listen to it, listen to the radio, music mostly, um, some talk radio, but mostly um, music. I like country mostly. Um, in those days, but now I'm not so exclusive to country, but but in those days, country was what I listened to most. Um, I think I'm gonna cut this one off. Uh, so I'm gonna try to focus on. I'm creating another video for um, for uh, when St. Bossings uh, happened uh, around uh, when I my family left uh, th that area where I was growing up until I was nine and a half years old. Um, I'll make a second video for that. So I'll cut this off and then we'll continue on the next video.